Okay, so what's up guys? So this is Sir Ken again with another video and this time we are going to learn about the evolution of media. So ano-ano ba yung parts or ano-ano ba yung mga ages na nagkaroon ng evolution sa media natin. So in this part po, tatalakayan natin yung different ages of evolution of media as well as yung mga naging parts po nito or different example ng forms na nangyari nung time na yon. But before we start, don't forget po to subscribe our YouTube channel and i-click nyo na rin po yung um, notification para po lagi kayo na notify sa uploaded video po natin. So, let's start po. So, sa evolution of media, so we have the pre-industrial age, the industrial age, and the, the electronic age, and lastly, the information age po natin. So, we have four evolution of media uh, in this one. So, let's talk about pre-industrial age. So, in, uh, in pre-industrial age, people discovered fire, developed paper from plants, and forged weapons and tools with stone, bronze, copper, and iron. So, dito guys, um, sa pre-industrial age, dito pa lang nila nadi-discover yung mga different ways. So, let's say or let's give example na parang nasa tribal age sila. So, dito pa lang nadi-discover yung mga different ways on how to create art, make weapons, so make weapons, make fire, and dito po um, gamitin yung mga different, like, uh, different tools or dito nagagawa ng mga different weapons such as Again, bronze, the copper, or even stone. So, there are different forms. Or, ito po yung ilan sa mga different forms ng pre-industrial age po natin. So, number one on the list is the cave, uh, cave paintings. So, that is an example of cave paintings. Well, found in Lascus in Dordogne, region of southwestern France. These paintings are estimated to be 20,000 years old. The painting consists of primarily of large animals. So, kita naman po, guys. Once native to the region. So, next naman natin, guys, is yung clay tablet of Mesopotamia. So, this one, ito po yung example, as you can see, guys. And this one is, so wait now. So, clay, clay tablet were used as a writing medium, especially for writing in uh, cuni cuneiform. Cuneiform characters were imprinted on a wet clay tablet with a stylus often made of reed. So, this one is an example, or this one is the clay tablets of Meso uh, Mesopotamia po. So, next po natin is the papyrus of Egypt. Now, this one naman po is made from the papyrus plant. So, the papyrus plant is a reed that grows in marshy areas around the Nile River. So, this plant was used in Egypt to make a writing material. So, the inside of the tri triangular stalk was cut to peel into long strips. So, ito po yung sample ng plant. Or, ito po si papyrus plant po natin. And, ito naman po yung um, carving na ginamit nila that time. So, para makapagkawa po ng drawing, so, they use po yung um, papyrus plant po natin. Next is the Acta Journa of Rome. So, year one uh, 130 BC. So, this is translated as the Daily Acts or Acta Journa contained daily Roman official notices and presented in message boards in public places like forum or room. So, kung baga guys, ito yung way nila on how to update um, how to update some people about things. So, ito po yung example po natin ng Acta Journa or ito po yung picture ni Acta Journa of Rome po natin. So, in 22nd or uh, second century, so sorry, twenty second, second century, the Bao of China. So this is the earliest and the oldest newspaper in the world. Bo. So as you can see, dito guys. So this one is the the Bao. Uh, this one is called the the Bao of China. Po. 
Then, the last one po natin na example is the Codex of Mayan Region in 5th uh, in fifth century. So, these are folding books written by the pre-Columbian May uh, Mayan civilization. The folding books are the products of professional scribes working under the patronage of deities such as Tonjured, Maze God, and How howler monkey god so this one is the codex of mayan region po so as year goes by as years goes by um katulad ng lagi ko sinasabi is nag-expand na nag-expand yung knowledge ng tao so kanina as you can see from um cave painting from cave painting natuto sila na, na natuto na mag-create ng different um, art. So, different art, different ways on how to communicate with other, so, on how they can provide media to other, and so on. Then, after that, since tumatalino na or nag-expand na knowledge ng tao, nagkaroon na po tayo ng tiyatawag natin na industrial age. So, in industrial age, people learn to use the power steam develop machine tools, uh, establish iron production, and manufacturing of various products, including books through the printing press. So, that is the industrial age. So, one good example or pinakamaganda example natin dito sa industrial age is yung tinatawag po natin na printing press for mass production. So, dito po, uh, ito po yung pinaka first or isa sa way before para po makapag-print ng something. So, according dito, printing had evolved since the Chinese developed woodblock printing. So, woodblock printing in se in 17th century. So, in 1440, Johann Gutenberg of Germany invented the movable type of printing press. So, it was not until um, 90s when people start to use printing press for mass production. So, before pa lang, mayroon ng printing press. But, um, as time goes by, nakikita nila yung importance ng printing press or nakikita nila na, ah, okay, so si printing press pala natin, we can use it for mass production. That, that is why printing press is gamitin nun in the year 90s po. So, next natin is the newspaper. So, of course, since meron na po tayong um, printing press to create a mass production or to create a lot of words through it po, so, nagkaroon po tayo ng newspaper. And meron po tayong tiyatawag na the London Gazette in 1640. So, that is an example of the London Gazette. So, ano po ba yung laman ni London Gazette po natin? So... It is one of the official journal of records of British government and the most important among such as official journals in all of United Kingdom in which certain statutory notices are required to be published. So that is the London Gazette po natin, atawag po natin. Next is we have the typewriter. So we have the typewriter. So, first released in 1975 by Christopher Scholes, Frank Hall, Carlos Glidden, and Samuel Soul in, uh, in Wisconsin. So, the typewriter is a me mechanical machine for writing characters similar to those pr produced by the movable type of printing press. Yeah. So, this is an example of typewriter. So, I think, siguro kung mga kasama nyo pa yung mga grandparents nyo or, um, or medyo nasa old house tayo, meron po tayong typewriter. And I think, until now, meron pa rin gumagamit ng typewriter, uh, typewriter po. So, anyway, proceed naman po tayo sa telephones po natin. So, yun, nagkaroon na po tayo ng mga telephones. And this one is an example of telephone. Invented by Mr. Alexander Graham Bell on March 10, 1876. So, this is the first telephone. Didn't work not only after three weeks. After uh, Mr. Bell filed for its patent. So, the first words that were spoken over the telephone were, Mr. Watson, come here. I want you. 
So this is so this is the first word na sinabi before sa telephone. And then again, this is the first telephone po na na-invent po noon time na yon. So there are motion pictures projection. So the history of film technology dates back in the development of moving pictures at the end of 19th century. Well, major development in motion pictures include adoption of sound, color, motion, and digital films. So, pagpalagay natin, guys, na ganito yung itsura ng first projector back then. So, imagine ninyo, guys, yung itsura ng projector natin before, di ba? Or, sorry, projector natin ngayon sa projector before. So, they, they use... Uh, they use it in moving pictures and film. Makikita natin to or one good example nito guys yung mga nakikita natin sa sa Disney films yung yung pinapaikot-ikot si Mickey Mouse if you know what I mean. So next is the telegraph. Okay, this one is the telegraph. So it is developed in 1830s and 1840s by Samuel Morse and other inventors. The telegraph revolutionized long-distance communication. It works by transmitting electrical signals over a wire laid between station. Then after that, guys, as time goes by, oh, sorry, meron pa pala tayong punch cards. Okay, so punch card, this is the, uh, the standard punch card originally invented by Herman Hollery was first used for vital statistics tabulation by the New York City Board Health and several state. After this trial, use the punch card were adopted for use in the 1890s census. Okay, so next part po natin, nagkaroon po tayo ng electronic age natin. So, ano po ba si electronic age? So, this is, so first, na na-invent, or sorry, let's explain first the electronic age. Electronic age, this is the invention of uh, transistors uh, used in the electronic age. People harness the power of transistors that led to the creation of the transistor radio, electronic circuits, and the early computers. Well, in this age, long-distance communication became more efficient. So before, even though nagkakaroon na ng long-distance communication or napapractice na magkaroon ng long-distance communication, especially katulad nung kanina, um, nagkaroon ng telephone dito sa, ating, dito sa ating industrial age. So, right that, so right that, right after that, sorry, rather, so nagkaroon na po tayo ng um, more efficient way on communicating with others pagdating po dito. In what way? So, these are the different forms of media that time. So, first, meron tayong tiyatawag na transistor radio. Nagkaroon ba kayo nito, guys? Ayan. So, ito yung transistor radio. So, this is the first transistor um, or the first transistor came out on December 20, uh, 23, 1947 made by Bell Laboratories in 1954. The transistor radio, which, which is not portable radio, that uses transistor-based uh, circuitry, was released. Since then, the transistor radio became the most popular communication device in history, with billions created during 1960s to 1970s. So this is the example of the first transistor um, that time, guys. So, next po natin is the television. So, yung television na kinalakihan natin, for sure, it is LCD na. Or siguro, na mga bata-bata pa tayo, nagkaroon tayo ng, nagkaroon tayo ng mga um, hindi pa flat screen na television. But, before that, meron po tayong gantong television. Well, explain ko po muna sa inyo. The first mechanical television were invented by John Logie Beard and Charles Francis Jenkins. The first television used a rotating disc with holes arranged in a spiral pattern. The first electronic television came out in 90s, invented by Philo Taylor Fansworth. So this is the first uh, mechanical television po natin. So as you can see, medyo maliit pa yung screen niya back then. 
But again, uh, this one is the first mechanical um, television po natin. So, meron po tayong Univac. Hindi yan Sinovac, guys. Ha? So, meron po tayong tinatawag na Univac. So, what is Univac? So, this is an example of Univac. And this is called or Univac or yung tinatawag po natin na Universal Automatic Computer is the first commercially available computer. Released on June 14, 1951 by John Mowgli and J. Uh, Presper Eckert. The Univac could handle both numbers and alphabets character, characters equally well. So before guys, yung computer natin, which is yung convenience setting ngayon, especially in online classes. So we all know na pwede tayo mag-type and so on and, and so on and so forth. But before that, numbers lang po. So numbers lang po ang hinahandle at alphabet characters lang po yung hinahandle ng computer po natin. And, th and this one is an example. So imagine niyo guys, maraming buttons before. So kung nararamihan na tayo sa, <laughs> sa buttons ng ating keyboard, imagine back then kung paano gumagana ang mga computer. Especially itong si Univac natin. Meron din tayong ENIAC. So what is ENIAC? So this is an example of ENIAC. Completed in 1946, so ENIAC or Elan or Electronic Numerical Integrator and Computer was the first general purpose electronic digital computer. It was designed primarily to calculate artillery, firing tables to be used by the U.S. Army during the World War II. So this one is the ENYAC po. Okay, so next po natin is yung mainframe computer natin. So, mostly makakakita tayo nito sa mga web servers or sa mga servers, sa mga servers, especially those who are undergoing um, ICT, ICT or undergoing DVL or undergoing um, STEM. So, siguro makakita tayo nito. So, just to explain lang, mainframe computers are computers used primarily by the large organization for critical applications like bulk data process, census, industry, and consumer statistics resource, planning, and transaction processing. So, one good example of this one is pagka magkakaroon, if magkakaroon tayo ng mga OJT, especially do those big companies, so meron po silang ganito, uh, ito yung nagiging main server, or ito yung nagiging server po ng isang um, company. So, dito na nagpa-process lahat ng data. And, of course, since ito po yung main server, it it costs a lot of money to have a mainframe computer po. So, next natin is the personal computer. So, ang cute, no? Before. So, PCs was designed for use by only one person at a time. A typical PC assembly, uh, assemblage consists of central processing unit or yung tiyatawag po natin na CPU. That contains the computer's arithmetic logic and control circuitry. Now, this one is called the personal computer. So, back then, ito po yung tiyatawag natin na personal computer. And then, years go by or times go by, nag-improve na po yung kaalaman ng tao. Nag-improve na na, nag-improve, nagkaroon, na, uh, nagkaroon na tayo ng mga different computers. And then, nagkaroon na tayo ng tiyatawag natin na information age po natin. So, the information age is the internet fave or the way of the faster way of communicating and the creation of social networks. People advance the use of microelectronics with the invention of personal computers, mobile devices, wearable technologies. Moreover, voice, images, sound, and data are digitalized. We are now living in the information age. So currently, guys, we all know that we are now living in an information age. Kung napapanood nyo itong video na to, so, malamang sa malamang, you are watching this maybe in your phone or even in your tablets or in your, in your computer. In that way, we can call it as the information age po natin because I will be uploading this sa isang social media site. So, probably sa si YouTube. So, ngayon, 
um we we can say that we are in an information age right now but ano po ba yung mga different examples ng information age po natin or ano po ba yung mga different forms of information age po natin so first we have the web browsers so mosaic 1993 so this one is the first web browser so it is developed mainly by mark anderson and jamie zawinski ncsa mosaic was the first web browser to be available for microsoft windows and mycintosh so the first version appeared in March 1993. So this is the first web browser. So maybe right now you are familiar with um, Google Chrome. So you lagging ginagamit. So or even Mozilla. So before, meron po tayo na Mosaic po. Next is the search engine or Google 90, 1996. So Larry, Larry Page and Sergey Brin who met at Stanford University, came up with a concept for a, re for a search engine they were going to name as Backrub. So, a year later, they renamed it as Google. So, again, ito dapat yung name ni Google. So, imagine nyo, guys, Backrub pangalan na ng Google natin dapat, no? So, a year later, they renamed it as Google, a play on the word Google, which is a mathematic term for one followed by 100 zeros. So that is the meaning of Google natin. So from the play or from the word Google. Okay, so we are all familiar with Google. So so basically maybe uh, some of your some of your assignments or a lot of researches na ginagawa po natin is coming from Google and so on. So next is the social networks. So ang mga, ang mga pinakaunang social networks back then is the Friendster and the Facebook. So Friendster in year 2002 and Facebook naman in year 2004. Well, this one is the Friendster. Maybe hindi na, nyo na inabutan to. And this one is the first or I think na inabutan nyo pa to. But ako inabutan ka tong time na to. So this is the first um, itsura ng Facebook before. Okay, so social networking sites like Friendster is founded by Jonathan Abrams and Facebook naman is founded by Mark Zuckerberg. It allows or it allowed its users to contact um, other members, maintain those contacts and share online contents, media with others. So we all know naman yung tulong sa atin ng social network, specifically when cocked contacting with other people right now a lot of people or a lot of persons meron nga yung social networks or, or meron nga yung social media especially facebook so even siguro mga grandparents nyo or yung mga older siblings nyo meron facebook so pwedeng nangangamusta sila sa profile picture nyo pwedeng naglalikes pwedeng sila lang yung bukod lang yung nakalike sa, sa picture nyo tapos yung iba naka heart and so on. So, that is one good example of social networks po natin. Next is the video sharing with is YouTube, year 2005. So, the idea for YouTube is to receive, or the idea for YouTube receive an $11.5 million investment from Sequoia Capital in 2005. Since then, it has become one of the most visited websites in the history of the internet so this one is a youtube so we are we are all familiar with youtube so actually right now i will be uploading this to youtube so anyway next natin is the virtual reality the smartphones and the wearable technologies po natin right now guys we are living to um or we are accessing a lot of a lot of technology or a lot of things ngayon so sobrang high tech na so we have the vr so we can play using vr or we can even watch movies of vr we have the smart watches we all know kung gaano ka convenient si smart watches natin sa mga different advertisement pa lang and the smartphones so right now diba si smartphones po natin 
from 1G so from 1G network right now meron na tayong mga 5G networks na tinatawag and nag-expand na nag-expand pa yung technology natin every year Virtual reality or VR is an interactive computer-generated experience taking place within a simon- simulated environment. It is incorporates mainly auditory and visual feedback, but may also allow other types of sensory feedbacks like haptic. So anyway, guys, that is one good example, such as smartphones. So yung mga improved phones na po natin. So from dati, from dati, mga uh, 3310 lang ngayon, different smartphones sa po yung handle po natin or different smartphones sa po yung hawak natin. So, there are roles and function of media in the democratic society. Number one is channel. This provides opportunities for people to communicate, share ideas, speculate, tell stories, and give information. Next is Watchdog. It exposes the corrupt practices of the government and the private sectors, creating a space wherein governance is challenged or scrutinized by the government. It is also guarantees the free and the fair elections. Next is the resource centers. It acts as a gateway of information for the society's consumptions. Also, it becomes a keeper of memories of the community. Unity, preserver of her and source of academic knowledge, and lastly is advocates. Through its diverse sources or formats, it bridges the gap of um, divide. So anyway, that ends our short video. I hope you like it and I hope you learned something. So thank you po sa panunood and have a great day or have a blessed day everyone thank you